Hi, I'm Lupita, and this is the High Pressure Liquid Chromatography. It is used in many biochemistry and analytical chemistry labs, and it is a form of chromatography that can identify, quantify, and purify each compound. This chromatography separates the compounds in the sample based on size. The first step when performing an HPLC procedure is to stabilize the pressure. A stable pressure is needed to make a straight line when it looks the sample. If the pressure is up and down, then the line will be up and down. And we don't want that because it will give us an accurate read. The second step is loading the samples. Because this apparatus is very sensitive, only 100 microliters of the sample is needed. And it goes in here. The column contains little tiny beads. And the bead size depends on what you're looking at. Therefore, the smaller the beads, the better the compounds are going to be separated. The compounds are in the mobile phase when they are going through this column, and the pressure, rather than gravity, pushes them through. A pump basically drives the compound through the columns and flushes the rest of the sample out. See, my mentor Donna and I are using the HPLC to detect pentosity in bird plasma. We're studying the formation of advanced glycation end products, which are also known as AGEs, in birds, a species that has naturally elevated plasma glucose levels. By understanding the protective mechanisms that allow birds to escape the harmful effects of high plasma glucose levels, we can aim to develop new and innovative ways to combat complications caused by high plasma glucose levels in humans. Hello again. This is an example of a typical graph that would be produced by the HPLC. Right here, samples are eluded on certain times based on their size. Therefore, the larger the samples are, the larger the time they will elude. The area under the curve represents how much of the compound is in the sample. For example, this peak may either be an impurity or actual pentosity. In order to find out, to find out further investigation is needed and more questions need to be asked.